How's it going, everybody? Kevin Gleason here with Team Latitude 64 and Team Under Par Promotions. New sponsor this year. I'll be doing some videos later on that. I got a couple new discs to try out today. Just came in the mail yesterday. The new Supreme Fugitive. And I have never thrown this disc before, so very excited to try this one out. I'll put the numbers down below of what these things are. And the other one is a new Saki Bomb prototype felon. You know, I've thrown a felon before, but uh, they look very similar, but maybe they're a little bit different. I know they probably had to tweak it to do a new mold, but uh, let's try these things out. I'm at Shoemaker Park, and the parking lot's empty, so... car and got a little sleety snowy little mix going on here so let's get going okay so first throw with these shoemaker pond salisbury maryland i am currently on hole eight short pad we have two pads out here and two baskets so i'll probably throw these in different baskets but i'll tell you as i let go uh, so first off let's try the felon with the hyzer shot up top come down okay I let go a little bit early put this one out a little bit wider and it seems to have a good glide going back left good line Ooh, right in front of it okay fugitive I have not thrown these so I think first shot, I'm going to try to just run one down the middle and see what kind of stability it has. I read that it's overstable, but I don't know. I'll find out for myself. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of overstability to it. I'm going to put this one out like I did the felon, put it out and let it dive in. Nice little skip to it, right under the basket. Okay, this worked out pretty good. One felon hit the tree, the other one, H run right in front of the basket. And then the two fugitives, you know, the one I went down the middle, hyzered out at the end, but uh, wasn't too far away. And then the one I threw hyzer with was a good shot. So I don't throw many, I don't throw sidearm very much. So. Let's try the sneaky shot. I'm gonna go right. Light. made the gap it's the fugitive let's um i'm gonna try to turn it over the basket's kind of tucked into the right i don't even know if you can see it from there let me go right here you can see it from there i think yeah let's go right there. tell you what though that fugitive has some nice glide to it i don't know if y'all were able to watch it finish over there but i really torqued on it to the to the right and it fought almost to the red basket and then kind of went straight doesn't turn out very fast either so you know it falls off to the left but uh it doesn't turn, just you know turn hard left so let me go find my disc in the road It was all the way across roads and no worries about getting hit. Yeah, I'm gonna go yellow. It's all the way in the back. So kind of right, right in there, I believe. So very hard to see. I can't zoom in when it's back. We'll go. I got fugitive first.
you know, it came out early. Kind of ran to the red basket. The red basket's off to the left. So it might actually be closer to the red. See if I can get a little more height on this one. Oh. Hit the limb. It's a good line. Okay, now this I think I would use on this whole going to yellow basket. short that was the exact line i was looking for just a little bit more hole 12 one of the few on the back nine that's open i'm gonna go to red 295 yellow is 328 so this is one again that you can run it red and then if it gets a good skip it'll end up at yellow pads on the other hand are slick Guys, i'm gonna move this off the pad to throw to be a little safer. We'll throw from the grass. Right on line. These fugitives seem, now like I said, I haven't looked at the numbers yet. Seem to have a little bit less glide. So I don't, I'm not getting them as far as I figure I would with a throw. So, you know, but that's 295 foot. That's a 295 foot hole and if you it probably is 15 feet short, 20 feet short. I think the felon's going to be perfect for this hole. Maybe 10 feet in front of the fugitive. I think once these, uh, once the felon gets beat up a little bit and gets a little bit more of an S on it, holds right a little stronger, or excuse me, holds right a little longer, I think the disc will definitely make my bag. And again, people, thank you for watching my videos. Please critique my videos. Negative, positive, all critiques help. Um, and something I will say, my buddy Aaron and I are going to start a podcast talking to people and talking to ourselves. We are both recovering addicts that play disc golf, and we talk to a lot of recovering addicts that still play disc golf. So he is covered in tattoos from head to toes. I have zero tattoos. So the name of the podcast is going to be the He's Got Tattoos, He Doesn't Podcast. So please subscribe. Hopefully within the next month or so, we'll have a couple guests that we're talking to. We plan on talking to not only guests in recovery that play disc golf, but people that don't, you know? And, you know, the main question we'll be asking as we start off is, do you have a tattoo or not? So, you know, give me a subscribe, share these videos, help promote these videos, and hopefully you like what Aaron and I do in the next couple months. Okay, hole 13. Yellow basket is a straight turnover shot down the middle, but... We play short to short here. I just throw something down the outside line and let it skip in. So both these discs should be perfect for it. We'll go felon first. Perfect. Not much of a skip, but it popped in there. Both of those were great. Another great shot. That one might be a little bit short, but uh, it's definitely putty. Fugitive gets a little more skip than the felon. That's funny to me. Let's go see where they landed. Uh, four decent shots. I think this one over here is the one that came in a little bit early, but ended up better. And here's the other three right beside each other. Woo! So these fugitives get a nice little, little skip to them. Okay, next hole, hole 14 is right back here. But we're gonna play that pad to the yellow basket. Not that one, it's over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my camera down here. It's still a little tough. Let's see if I can get this over here. I think 
Thank you. Push it up just a little bit. Yeah, like that. See y'all a little bit. Three out of four of those look close. Guess I get to watch them later. Hole okay. Three. Hole 15. Ain't nothing but a straight, straight tunnel. And uh, not really the, the disc for this hole, but. Way out in the field with a skip. That went between the tree and the basket. I don't know how I did that. Nice little snow, if you can see it. Okay, hole 16. The yellow basket's amazing. Just straight down this tunnel to yellow. But I don't have the disc to run there right now, so the red basket's just off to the right a little bit. Let's try the lefty. Might be worse, might be better. That's a birdie putt. <laughs> it was ugly. But it worked. Stop. Hit a tree. Wobbly, but down there. And folks, that's why I don't throw side hand. I hope y'all have enjoyed these videos. I love making them. You know, critique. Tell me what I'm doing, doing right, what I'm wrong. What would you like to see more of? Uh, I've tried the videos where I just talk the whole time. You know, and uh, they're really long, so I'm good at talking, but it's even hard to do that. Starting to cover the ground a little bit. Wasn't even calling for this when I left. There's some geese. Hello, geese. Water's down here. That's what I'm saying. You get on this hill, you're very much wet. There's some sleety, slushy mix. Okay, before I throw this hole, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I'm 10 away. If you would, please like, share, subscribe to me. Comment down below. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a giveaway. I got my brand new Kev Stone putters that came in and what they are is a Keystone with a Y change to a V that says Kev Stone. I use the exact same font as a Keystone. Got it right here. And uh, comment down below. Just write drawing, write whatever you want to. Say, I wanna be in the drawing. Share this video for me if you would. And uh, a week from uh, me posting this video, I'll uh, I'll do a drawing. So this hole, hole 17, red basket straight ahead, yellow still left. Another good one to run it red, fall it yellow. I am going to run it red. Good, good. Another thing with any of these fugitives, they come out of the hand to the left. You really gotta, really gotta torque on them. I know I keep saying it, but you know, you really gotta push them over. Got a chance for yellow. Oh! <laughs> like I said, right in front of yellow. You run it red and it falls to yellow. There it is. That's gonna go in yellow. Oh! Ain't popped. Messed up the snowy pad with my footprints. I'll try to get this uploaded to YouTube tonight. It's Saturday, the February 25th. So hopefully it'll be out tonight or tomorrow. I'll probably uh, watch some live disc golf pro tour today and edit this video. So. Okay, so if you've tuned in this long, thank you for watching again, Kevin Gleason. 
Team Latitude 64, Team Under Par Promotions. New sponsor this year, they're doing all my clothes. I'll actually have some shirts for sale this year. So please, uh, again, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you want a drawing for the Keystone. Kevstone, and uh, another side hand hole, so I'm gonna throw it lefty. Felon, I think it's gonna make my bag. I'll probably take it over to the CRM course, throw it a little bit. Felon seems to hold a straighter line. I can push out on it to the right a little bit. It holds straight and falls. You know, for me, it's probably just gonna be one of those upshot discs, 250, 300 foot wide open shots. That's all I'm gonna be able to use it for. The Fugitive. I came in thinking this thing was gonna be understable. No, it's pretty overstable. Minimal skip. If you really torque on it, it still comes back. But it doesn't come back real, real fast. Kind of a slow turn back to the left. Slight skip. And uh, both are great discs. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Again, comment down below. Like, share, subscribe this. I'll see y'all later.